1000 days man i actually hit 1000 days active on this game it's really insane how fast time goes by last time i did an account with you i hit ar60 and it was last year around last year this time today i hit a thousand days active meaning it's time to do another one but first right before i do an account with you i'm at 40 pity i'll take a yolan on my account if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen i don't know if i try to get her fuck i guess it's time to review the account I feel like since everybody cares about characters first, I'll do it first. So I guess Ito all the way to... I would say Diona is who I have built. I say Chi Chi is the cutoff all the way here. So I have a decent amount of characters built for a free to play account especially. First Ito, 2600 defense, 70 to 157 with 111 ER. It is sometimes hard to get his energy, I'll be fully honest. R5 white bind. I got this recently. I should have had it a while ago, but I accidentally put a white bind into leveling up the weapon. So yeah, that sucks. Artifacts, of course his set, you know, I love Ito, still do. 33 crit damage, nothing else really matters. 11 ER, all the ER I have. 19 crit damage and 13 defense. Pretty decent feather. I could definitely do better if I go back into the domain, but I don't feel like it. 6 to 19, pretty good. This one's insane. 8 to 20, or technically 9 to 20. Also 7% defense. Crit rate with crit damage. He's not the best. He's abyss clearable, but he's not the best. But it's, he's still like fun to use. One of my favorite characters. And then C1. I got this like 40 pity in again, trying to go for girl constellations. Talents, triple crown. My Zhongli is 41 KHP, which is pretty good. I mean, if you have him, you know how deadly he is. He has 50 crit rate for Favonius. Of course, Favonius. He has tenacity, which I'm pretty sure is just all HP. Like, I don't really care about these two. And then it's just HP across the board. Doesn't really matter too much. He's like good enough either way. No constellations and then level 8 shield. I don't care too much about the other two. Kazuha. Now Kazuha's primo gem wise my most invested character. <laughs> he's still he's still my favorite character in the game. He got 978 EM and 124 ER. I mean pretty good. I should technically have more energy recharge but that's fine. Iron Sting R3. I put the R5 one on I'll hate them. Artifacts. It, it's not really a big deal. If you have Kazuha you know you don't even have to invest into him that much. So it's like. He's, he's just broken. He's so fun to use too. He just helps the team out so much. I have him C2. The C1 is so special. The C2 is good, but I would recommend going for it. And then Talon's Triple Crown, of course. Yai Miko. I built my Yai Miko pretty nicely. 74 to 150. The 116 ER is low, but that's because of the weapon. Uh, I get energy recharge once I use my skill. So my energy recharge spikes up after I use it. Artifacts. Of course, Gilded Dreams. It's such a good artifact set. It's it's like insane. Plus, I have so many from farming this for so long. Like 6, 10% attack, 14% crit damage, 10% ER. Like, it's really good. Again, really good. 5 to 25 with 6.5% ER. 7 to 19. The electro damage isn't good, but it is on set, so that's nice. And then an offset Sans. Pretty good again. Like, she's so good. I like Game Miko a lot. D0, and then... I did crown this. I didn't even know I crowned this skill. I think I was trying to get this. Yeah, I was trying to get it to level 9. I, I think Yamiko's such a good character. Shogun. My Shogun build hasn't changed since last year. I don't play Hyper Bloom Shogun because I don't like it. But yeah, 1,900 attack. 65 to 165 ratio with 232 energy recharge. Pretty good. She is on the catch. I could switch it to Skyward. But I'm just going to leave her on the catch. Artifacts. Still, of course, Emblem. I never change your artifacts. 12 to 12 over here, 11 to 19 over here with 11% energy recharge. This is one of my best feathers on my account too. 14 crit rate, 7 crit damage, really good. Attack circular with 10 crit rate, 13 crit damage, and 13 ER. Like, it's, there's no point of changing her build. She's already good enough. And then crit damage with the crit rate circular, again, it's insane. Wait, so technically on a burst, it goes up to like 77 crit rate, which is insane. Constellation C0, I don't plan on going for a C2. She's good enough. And then of course, 910. I'll hate them. I'll hate them. It's pretty good. He's he's pretty good. I finally got a Dentro Goblet, which took me so long to get. 60 to 120 with, with 500 Elemental Mastery and 127 ER. He doesn't struggle for his burst. He's fine, especially when I play him with Nahida. Weapons, R5 Iron Sting. I don't have any better except for maybe this one. Artifacts, of course, Gilded Dreams again i farm this a lot 40 em 11 er 3 to 19 ratio 13 crit rate 7 crit damage 5 er 35 em this is insanely good elemental mastery with 17 crit damage i can't get better 
I tried. It just doesn't happen. This is where I struggle. I could go back into the domain, but I'm working on other things. You know, I'm working on building other characters. Maybe one of these has decent subs that's like a level, but it could wait. Dendro damage with 26% defense. Let's go. We got tank. I'll hate them over here. Now for real though, 7 crit rate, 13 crit damage. It's If it didn't roll the 26% defense, I would love it. Even my other Dendro goblet on set, which is on Dendro MC, also has 18% defense. It's, I, I don't know, no defense killing Dendro characters. Maybe one day. Crit rate. 31 to 12 and then 5.8 energy recharge he's just he's such a good character that it might not look that good but he's still insane and of course triple crowned nahida i put a lot of investment into nahida i could switch up a build here and there to get over 1000 em but the reason why it's under 1000 em is because i put it on the wood sith my build right now is 34 to 188 it she is insane like i'm not gonna lie i could put it on sacrificial fragments i'm choosing not to I like this weapon, I don't know why. I like getting the 480 elemental mastery. Or even the elemental damage is still good too. As long as you don't get the attack roll, you're fine. And even if you do get the attack roll, she's still that good. Artifacts. Uh, a lot of investment into this one. So 7 crit rate, 14 crit damage, 51 EM. 2 crit rate, 15 crit damage, 77 EM. Elemental mastery main stat, 9 to 14. Pretty much 10 to 15 at this point. It's like 0.5 off. Elemental mastery... 3 to 25. It took me so long to get this artifact piece. It's insane. But I got it and I don't care no more. I don't have to go back into this domain for now. And then Elemental Mastery again, 6 to 13. She's just so good. Like, you'd even have to have a high investment in Nahida. She's just like that. Constellation C0. I don't think I'll ever pull for any of these. I think her C2 is insanely broken, but she's already broken enough. And then Triple Crown again. I like my Nahida. Yurina. I finally got Yurina, man. It took me so... This character, I grinded for it. I was sitting there for hours opening chests across the world to do single pulls. And it was like 20 single pulls in the span of like a couple days. Like, it was insane. No events were out. I was just opening chests and opening chests. 30k HP with a 70 to 177 crit ratio and 150 ER. Uh, I don't think the ER is high enough sometimes, but... I haven't played her enough to go crazy. I got the pipe over here, you know what I'm saying? And then R5, I got this like yesterday, I won't tell a lie. 4 piece golden troop, of course. And I've been in this artifact set so much times. I just want to really quickly filter these two out. I mean, you can see 102, 131. And I mean, there's not a lot of 4 stars either. I've been in this artifact domain for good pieces. And I cannot get them like that. Maybe I could if I choose to level some up. But like, I cannot get them like that. 11 to 17, this is a good artifact set. 5% HP too, I didn't even notice that. Uh, HP again, 12 to 14, really good. HP main stat, 26 crit damage. This piece needs some work. And then if I want energy recharge, I got this one. But for now, this one's the one. Hydro damage on set, which is really good. 9 to 7. And that allows me to use a nice vermilion piece over here, you know? A nice vermilion off piece with 4.5 energy recharge, 5 HP, 12 crit damage. Constellation C0, I'm never gonna pull for a constellation. If Yurina doesn't want to be on my account, I get it. And then talents, of course, I crowned this skill. I just want, or I crowned a burst. I just want other people to look good. Kokomi's on pretty much 50k, oh, or voice crack. Kokomi's pretty much on 50k HP. She's pretty close. Weapons. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. This weapon's so good, by the way. Tenacity. Now, I did make a DPS Kokomi build, if you want to watch that, where I took her onto double HP and just, like, f around in the Abyss. It was fun. I like that build. 10% HP here. Uh, nothing really. Who, who cares? Uh, 600 HP over here. HP main stat. HP here. I got a lot of energy recharge from these artifacts, too. And then HP here and more energy recharge. Again, not a big deal. C0. And her burst is crowned because of the video I made a week or two ago now. Time goes by fast. Early Kino. Early Kino got one of my best builds. It's insane how good the build is for her. I got a 75 to 205 ratio with 2000 attack, which is insane because she's on White Tassel. For artifacts, I mean, I got her new set. I had to. She's one of my favorite characters. I just, I had to go for it. And I got really lucky, like 3 to 21 with 8% attack, 10 to 14 with 5% attack. I got an off piece over here, 10 to 14. I am using an attack goblet. It's fine because I'm on white tassel especially. So 5 to 16 with, I guess, ER if I want to burst once in a while. And then crit damage with crit rate. Like, she's just good. I could obviously do better in this category right here. Constellation C1. I did a 10 pull right after getting her. And it's the only 10 pull I won in Fontaine so far. But it's insane. My luck in Fontaine has been complete ass compared to the other regions. Like, complete ass. And then talents, double crown. Cookie, same build as always. You got as much EM as possible. You go on EM weapon, and then you put it on Gilded Dreams. That's it. Because all she's there to do is Hyper Bloom. That's all, that's all she's used for, let's be honest. It's just Hyper Bloom. This is an insane feather. I don't know why it's on her, but it's on her. This is pretty good too. Damn, I put on some good artifacts. 
Either way, just EM across the board, you know, you know how she is. Constellation, I don't even have a C6. And then, yeah, talents aren't a big deal. Only level this up if you need healing, but like, I don't want to farm these hearts. I don't, I don't want to farm Spectres. Vazer, I built Vazer recently uh, for a video as well. It was like 2-3 months ago now. 61, 133, pretty much 134 with 128 ER. He's actually pretty fun to play. I put him on Mailed Flower, mainly on Hyper Bloom and like Aggravate teams. I don't play his physical team, so I don't find that fun. And then I got Thundering Fury because why not? Strongbox, 500 artifacts for it, might as well. 7 to 20, 3 to 14. This is where all my energy recharge comes from. 10 to 14, I mean, this is this is insane. I'm not gonna lie. Electro damage onset, 3 to 13. This is very old. And then 21 crit damage. Pretty good. Pretty good, I guess, you know. Could do a little better. Don't plan on it. Constellation, I just got him C6 because of the Yolan banner. I did like 40 pulls before recording this video for some reason. I did another 10 pull now. But yeah, I got a C6 finally. I don't know how good it actually is. I'm, But yeah, and then of course, level 9 or level 12 burst. And level 8 or level 11 skill. I don't really care too much about his normals, but I could upgrade it for fun, you know? Maybe go for like 888 or 889. So, race is fun though. I, I'm happy I built him. Ching Cho, I mean, this guy's just broken, let's be honest. 60 to 134 with 187 ER. He's on Sacrificial Sword. Somehow, a thousand days in, I don't even have this weapon R5, but R3 is all you really need. Again, like, he's too good, man. 20% defense, beautiful tank right there, but 10 to 12, 6 to 20, attack and 19 crit damage. Pretty good. Honestly, could do better, but this is good for now. Hydro damage, 7 crit rate, 13 crit damage, 10% attack. I got this recently when I was strong boxing for Razor. Pretty good. And then crit rate of crit damage. Just a good character, of course. Like C6, crown burst. Like, he's broken, man. He He's a special character. My Yonfei is just really my D look in a Yonfei outfit, really, I, I guess. 1700 attack, 73 to 155 with 128 ER. Weapons, one of my lost pair of Sacred Wind is on her. I have two of them. I chose not to R2 it. Instead, I'll just have two different ones. I don't like switching weapons back and forth. It's not for me. Artifacts. Again, it's just my D look. They're not really that good, except for the Sands. 6 to 14. I don't want to look at that. 9 to 14 with 10 ER. 7 to 14. And then, yeah, it's not that good. I do plan on building her a little bit better on this Crimson Witch. Maybe Gilded Dreams. I have cleared Abyss with this build. It's pretty good. Constellation C6. Talents 988 or 91111. And it got like the most simple build you could really give a character. He has 865 base attack and 234 ER. Nothing else really matters. A kill of Favonia. Artifacts, no bless. Just as much ER as I could get. 16% here, 10% here, main stat here, HP for more healing with energy recharge, and then healing bonus with energy recharge. Just really a good build for him, you know? Constellation, I could get C6. I don't think it matters anymore, but just in case something happens, like later a character that doesn't want Bendis C6, I'll keep him C5 for that. Talents, of course, I count the burst. Wander got like one of my nastiest builds he got a 91 to 186 ratio i do want to change him though right now he's on lost prayer but i really want to change his artifacts because he's on a two-piece an emo two-piece attack but what i want to really do is put him on his set which is a desert pavilion right now i'm only missing either feather or sands i have a flower that's pretty good i have a sands that's pretty good it's on Zhao, and i have a goblet that's pretty good on Zhao as well but i really want to change him to a four-piece desert which i'm working on right now Flower is really good, 6 to 21. Feather is insane, 6 to 25 with 5% attack. Sands is 6 to 20, it's really good. Animal damage onset as well, 9 crit rate, 7.8 crit damage. And my circle is 5 crit rate, 24% attack, insanely good. Constellation C1, I hate Fire Zone with everything in my heart. And crowned normal attacks, just cause. Zhao probably got my most broken build out of every character on my account. 90 to 200 with 144 ER. Weapon, Blacklift Pull. I don't plan on r 5 this weapon. Too much pulls that I could be getting instead, you know? Artifacts, he's on a 2-piece, two 2-piece. Two I want to put him on a 4-piece once I could change Wander's build a little bit. But for now, it's pretty good. 14 to 14, beautiful. 10 ER, 4.7% attack. 11 to 21 with 11 ER. 10 to 27. My best artifact on the account. 21 crit damage. It's on set though, you know? And then 10% attack. 31 to 14. 22% ER. Beautiful. C, 0. Because we don't pull for constellations. We only get them based on luck. 10 on the normals. 10 on the burst. 8 on the skill. Child. Now, Child's a different breed. I'll be honest with you. His one team that he got, the Child, Shangling, Kazuha, Bennett. 
different breed. Speedrun, just speedrun. 2500 attack, 65 to 137 ratio. It's just so beautiful. 128 ER, of course. But yeah, ammo's bolt. And I got this from the standard banner. I think it was my first weapon I got. Artifacts, two piece, two piece. Beautiful. 16 ER, six curve, 11 attack, 15 crit damage. Four curve, pretty much. 4.7 attack, 29 crit damage, and 40 m you know, just in case I vape a little bit. I'm not talking smoking, I mean like vaporize. Beautiful sands right here. 9 crit rate, 15 crit damage. ER and elemental mastery. Hydro damage goblet, just 9 crit rate really. A 10% attack is pretty good too. 31 crit rate main stat, 27 crit damage. Constellation, 0 because we don't pull for constellations over here. 9-9, nine, nine, alright? 9-9. Nine, nine. I might do 9-10 or 10-10, I don't know, but 9-9 nine, nine for now. Rio, Friendship 9, one of my only characters I use that's not Friendship 10, one of my only characters I use. 49 to 172, I assume you guys know why that is. Weapon, Flowing Purity, I don't plan on putting him on a 5 star weapon, this weapon is beautiful for him, beautiful, R5 of course. Marisho Say Hunter, so assume that his crit rate is 36% higher, instead of 49, it's pretty much 86. Now I'll be honest with you, my Marisho Say Hunter sucks ass, like I've tried to get a good one, it's not happening. 3 to 21 with 13% attack. 7 to 7, uh, again, they don't look that good, only feather I have upgraded. Somehow the easiest piece is the hardest one to get. Attack Sands, 23 crit damage. Goblet, 3 to 18 crit damage. It, pretty good, pretty good Goblet. Sands, I, I mean it's not that good, I'll be honest. Like I said it, it really isn't. Constellation, C0. Crowned? Of course he's crowned. Dendro MC, I actually like Dendro MC. 6 to 126, 232 ER. Beautiful build. R1. Sapwood Blade. Sometimes I switch him around to Favonius here and there, depends on the team. Like if I'm using Shogun, I'll use Sapwood Blade. If I'm not, mainly Favonius. Artifacts. Beautiful pieces over here. 10 to 13. Attack 5.8. Energy Recharge 10. Beautiful. 5 to 14. Beautiful piece here. With 16 ER, of course. Electro Damage. This is not Electro Damage. Energy Recharge. 6 to 17.9. Pretty much 18. And then HP just in case I get one hit. You know what I'm saying? This is not why it's there, but just in case. 18% defense, beautiful. 5 to 11. I bet your Dendro MC gets hit a lot harder than mine. 31 crit rate with 19 crit damage, 22 ER. Beautiful build. Beautiful. C6, of course. What a pain in the ass to get. Talents. 8 burst, 6 skill. Or 911, I guess. My first 5 star I pulled when I came back to Genshin. When I actually started playing Genshin, you know? Because I pulled Diluc on the first day. Then I stopped playing the game for like a year almost. Weapons. Rust, of course. R4. Wait, I think I can get this R5. Hey, I can get an R5. What am I doing? Now it's R5. Okay, it's not a good build. I don't really care about my Oemia no more. Let me see if I can get a good build on it real quick. Wait, okay, wait, hold on. This is a little bit better. Is she a little bit better because I changed that one artifact? Okay, she's a little bit better. A little less crit rate, a lot more crit damage. ER is useless, really. Now we can finally rate the build. Rust R5, beautiful. Now let's rate, let's rate it beautifully. 6 to 22. This is the artifact I changed. It was previously on this one. I don't know why. 6 to 19, pretty good. 8 to 11, pretty mid. 20 crit damage only, pretty mid. 31 to 21. There's no other stats, pretty mid. I'll be honest, I have cleared Abyss with Yoimiya C1. Um, don't ask questions. I pulled like 3 5 stars in the span of like 10 pulls. I didn't understand how the banner system worked. I just pulled. I got her. I got Mona I think it was. Or somebody. I got somebody. And then I got my C1 right after. Pretty cool. Level 10. I crowned it? When did I do this? Or well, whatever. Level 10 normals. Level 8 skill. Level 7 burst. d look. I took all my artifacts off of d look, So he's not really built. But I do plan on building him again. Because I have Furina and I have Shanyun. So I low key plan on building him again. Prototype would be the weapon most likely. I don't know what else I'll put. Maybe this one. I, I, I have no idea. Artifacts. Beautiful. Constellation. C2. Talents. 888. Obviously no artifacts, but 26 to 69. Beautiful. Fischl. Fischl is just a deadly, deadly ass character, man. She really is. 65 to 158. No energy recharge, but she's just deadly, man. Deadly. Stringless. R5. Deadly character. 2 piece 2 piece yes I know I don't have her on golden troop but who really cares because when you see the sub stats your balls might drop 31 to 28 42 am 6 to 28 nothing else useful 13 to 5 6 to 25 electro damage 31 to 20 okay it wasn't really that good but like it pretty open pretty pretty good pretty good constellation c6 of course talents crowned crowned you just have to it looks nice beto beto is one of my favorite four stars I'll be honest her attack is low as hell though I might have to work on that attack substat, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, maybe if I play with Bennett, yeah, but I gotta, I think I gotta work on that a little bit. You know, you know what I'm saying? God damn, that's low. I didn't realize it. Anyways, 65, 130, 200 ER. Yeah, I don't like going for a burst, I'll be honest with you. Weapon, Luxurious Sea Lord, R4. I remember specifically 
I was playing another game a lot, so this is R4 not R5. Maybe I'll switch it to this weapon low key. Artifact, 4 piece emblem, 3 to 21 16 energy recharge, 7 to 17 42 AM, good for aggravate teams, 6 to 28, that's kind of why I put on energy recharge here, it's just like insane. Electro damage, 12 crit rate, 7 crit damage, crit rate, 6 crit damage, constellation, C6, beautiful, beautiful, and then talents, what do you think? Why, why wouldn't I crown her? Yao Yao. I actually like Yao Yao. She's one of my favorite four stars, I would say. Shout out Ugwe too. Let's see what the stats are looking like. 27k HP stats. Uh, I don't really know what Matt is here. I'm going to be honest with you. She's normally there to apply healing and apply dentro. She's not really there to do anything else. But yeah, here's, that's the stats. You know what I'm saying? Moon Piercer. Because why not? We got four piece deep wood shout out four piece deep wood you know what i'm saying but sometimes sometimes never i switch it to the other set you know the instructor set i don't i don't really know what matters here i don't have any of the stats these are just random artifacts i throw on there but yeah 6 to 13 privy again these 10 percent hp i guess energy recharge i guess that's good hp healing bonus again i just threw it on artifacts it it does not matter you know what I'm saying? Constellation, C0. She's still good enough to clear the abyss, but I really want constellations on her. Talents, level 7, Ugwe. Shout out Ugwe. Changling, one of the more broken characters. How are they gonna make the Pirate Archon better than her and Arlequino and Bennett? I have no idea. Details. 56 to 151, 200 ER. And 1700 attack. Why is my crew rate so low? This weapon right here, 8% crew rate from the weapon. So my crew rate is actually 64. And obviously just high base attack, good energy recharge, you know what I'm saying? Artifacts, 4 piece emblem. Right here. 3, 22 ER, 15 crit damage, beautiful. 14 crit rate, 19 EM is pretty good. 11 energy recharge, attack, 5 to 15, pyro damage, 10 to 7 with 12% attack and 5 energy recharge. Crit damage with 9 crit rate. I mean, like, if you use Shangling, you know she's broken. Constellation, C6, Talon, Pyronado, maxed the fuck out, dude. Shanyun, Shanyun's pretty good, I'll be honest with you. I'm so happy I pulled for her. Makes my Xiao look better, that's really it. But like, she will make other characters look better once I build them towards that. I might get made fun of for this build. Only 2500 attack, not that high. A lot of energy recharge here. The issue is the 26 crit rate and the fact that I'm on Favonius. You know, it procs one fifth of the attacks I do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's okay. The teams I play on get enough energy anyway, so it's fine. Artifacts, songs of days past. No attack here. A lot of energy recharge here, but no attack. Attack, attack. 25 defense, no one hitting out here. Attack. Energy recharge. She's not a really... She's not like a character you put insane investment into, you know? But yeah, her, she's pretty good. I just recently put some work into my Jean. She should be level 90, but she isn't. But that's okay. 1700 attack. 73 curve. You'll see why. 187 ER. Gotta get that burst up for Furina, you know? Ravonia's sword. Beautiful sword. Artifacts. Four piece verdescence. Now, I'll be honest. These artifacts don't sue her, but like, it's fine. She's not really there to be suited. You know what I'm saying? 5% attack and then crit. You know what I'm saying? Energy recharge. Crit. You know what I'm saying? Crit. You know what I'm saying? More crit. Crit. Yeah, I don't understand the build, but it works. I, yeah. C4. I only pull jeans. At least I'm close to C6. C2 is actually really good. I didn't like realize it, but using C2 is actually really good. C4 doesn't really matter now because you're not putting her with Xiao or Wanderer. Talents. Level 4, level 6. Or 4 and 9, I guess. Mona, I took all the artifacts off. She was one of my first level 80s. I'll be fully honest. 200 attack is insane. What weapon do I have around? That's why. 5 to 50. 124 ER. Weapon. Building to okay, let me stop. Yunjin, Yunjin, 1500 defense. Okay, about this kind of embarrassing, but 236 ER, right? She works sometimes when I use it. I barely use it though, like, barely use it. Prototype Star Glitter. I would change this to Favonius when I play her, but normally, whenever she's used on a team, I just use Strongly instead. Artifact, four piece husk, 21 defense, energy recharge, 18 defense, energy recharge, 7% defense, 58% defense, 18 energy recharge. Wait, wait, even though I don't really use it that much on Favonia, sometimes I just leave it on prototype. Nothing really here, but still, it works, you know what I'm saying? C6, I like a C6, it helps. Talents, level 6 or level 9 burst, and then, I mean, she works. She works sometimes. Goro, Goro, 900 beautiful defense, that's high, you know what I'm saying? He's high up, he's tanking shit. 41 to 54 crit ratio, 230 ER, well, 229.9, but 230 ER. Weapon, sacrificial bow. Yes, I could put him on Favonius, no, I'm not gonna. Artifacts, 4 piece exile, he's, yeah, he's Goro's pair, I guess. 8% energy recharge, 9% defense. 10 energy recharge, 5% defense. Energy recharge, 10 crit rate, 17% defense. Geo damage, defense. Crit rate, defense. Yeah, pretty much like, I, I don't know. I could make his build better and more optimal, but I'm choosing not to because I don't want to keep leveling up exile sets. Talent, 8 to 6. <laughs> Spectres. 
Horizon finally got a C6. What a grind that was. What a fool. I never want to go through wishing for that many characters instead. In the span of me getting Horizon C6, in the span of me getting Horizon C6, I just thought of it. I got my first Wanderer copy. I got my second Wanderer copy. I got a Kokomi. I got a Jean and I got a Shanion. Yeah, that's, that's it. And you know what's even crazier? I share a birthday with this girl. This granny, man. God damn. Out of all the characters, it has to it had to be her. Whatever, who cares? 239.6 energy recharge. Pretty good when you have C6. She pretty much depends on C6. Favonius, of course. Artifacts. Tenacity. Level 0 Feather because there's no point of leveling this up. What does my other one look like? Yeah, no point of leveling this up. Feather. 16 ER. Energy recharge. Nothing else really here. Electro damage. Why do I have her on electro damage? Okay, maybe I should work on my Farazan. I mean, she works anyways. Private with energy recharge. Yeah, as you can see. I mean, it doesn't matter. She, as long as you have the energy recharge, you're fine. I don't struggle with energy when I play her in Shao, so it's fine. Constellation, C6. This is why I don't struggle for energy, because this is pretty much her whole kit. You know, but that's okay. Crown. Sucrose. My Sucrose isn't built. What weapon is she on? Yeah, she's not built. I'll be honest with you, it's just a random 4 piece that I found. It's not even Elemental Mastery across the board. I will switch it here and there though, but I don't feel like getting it. Yeah, see? Energy Recharge and Crivate. I'll be honest, she's not built. But C6, beautiful. Talents, 8-8. Eight, eight, or 5-5 five, five, technically. So she's not built. I won't show her off, you know what I'm saying? Chevus, 150 ER. Dialogues, this one. This weapon. I, I forgot where I got it from. I think it was an event. The, the, the potion event. That's what it was. It was the potion event that gave us. Pretty good weapon, by the way. Like, legit meh for her, I guess. Artifacts. Songs of Days Pass. 14 HP. 15 HP. No HP, but we got 10% energy recharge. Oh, wait. HP main stat. Sorry. Uh, HP main stat again, I guess. HP main stat again. Sadly, she's not at the 40k threshold, but she's at 39k, so I'll take it. Constellation. Only C1. And then 8-8. Eight, eight. Toma, what the hell do I have my Toma built on? 50 Crive pretty much with 190 ER. Usually I'll switch him to Favonius or Prototype, anything to get energy recharge. But right now he's on Black Tassel because he's like that, right? Artifacts, two piece energy recharge, two piece tenacity. I usually use him for melt teams with Rio. And before Shan Yun came out, I used him with Zhao. So Bennett, him, Farzan, Zhao. It didn't work that well. Feather, 17 energy recharge. This is not level. Why are none of my artifacts leveled? I'll do it now. Now let's see what I get. Level 20. 16. Okay, whatever. Who cares? It's leveled at least. It looks okay now. Uh, let's see. Energy recharge. Level 20. HP. Level 20, I promise. It was just that one. It was just that one. I promise. Constellation. C6. This is why I love. This is why I like built him in the first place. Talents. Not really upgraded. Still a good care. You know what? Only because I'm nice. I'll level this up to 6. Look. Okay, went up to 5. Okay, that's good enough. See, like, I I, I had to do it because I felt bad. Friendship 3. There we go. Look at him now. Got my crit damage. OG character. OG healer, right? Here. This was my OG healer. You know, most people was Noel. This is mine. 40 crit rate, 134. Now, I don't play it no more, but when I did, it wasn't on the Ibis Piercer. It was on either Favonius or Sacrificial. This is stringless. Sacrificial. Artifacts. 4 piece Noblesse, of course. Energy recharge. HP. 500 HP double crit. 18 energy recharge on HP main stat. HP energy recharge. HP. Like, I mean, she's just good. You know what I'm saying? C6 constellation. Like, she she lost her touch a little bit, but I guess with the imaginary theater out, she could be used more. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this one where I used her. Honestly, I don't know who I'm going to build next. Chongen or Gaming might be the ones. Now, usually when I explore, I use this team because it usually tends to get everything quickly now i guess i'll show this off which pretty much you get from the hoyo lab website if you just go to hoyo lab over here and then you press here and then personal home page once you log in you can now see a days active you click it and you're here so this is nice it shows everything a thousand days active 842 achievements 61 characters of course the abyss and imaginary theater are beat 454 waypoints unlocked it's crazy to think about you actually have to run to 454 waypoints 66, a Nemo Oculi. Only 130 G Oculi, meaning I'm actually missing one on my account. You get a spare one for every account. 181 Electro Oculi. 271 Dendro. 271 Hydro. 58 Domains. 192 Luxurious Chest. 504 Precious Chest. 1616 Exquisite Chest. 1913 Common Chest. And 165 Remarkable Chest. I want to add these numbers up real quick. Okay, so technically I have opened a total of 4,390 chests, which is insane. And if you divide that by 1k, 4 chests a day for logging in. That's pretty crazy to think about. TCG, I never do. 
but I think it's time I show off world exploration. Now don't judge, this is not 100%ed legally, okay? It just says it. Technically it says 100%, I am not actually 100%. I have found chest left over, I have found stuff I can claim left over here, it's not actually 100. 100 in all of Mondstadt, yep, I need to get a life. 95 in Dragon's Fine. But Leeway, the planes, 80%. I don't know how to read this. 83%. Sea of Clouds, 95 I cannot find the last things here. Leisha, 88%. Minlin, 86%. Pretty good. Chasm, 76%. Leeway 2. Mount Lyxen, 100%. Uh, the Southern Mountain, 73%. And then Upper Vale is 73% as well. Sumeru, the Jungle, 83%. The Forest, 86 The Valley, 82 The Realm, 83 The Fields, 82. Varanara, 88. The Desert. Lost Nursery, 100. Upper Satek. I think that's how you say it. 100%. Lower, 92%. How? I, I don't understand how this is upper, but it's south, but that's okay. The Desert, 94. The Actual Desert, 77. Go up. I do not know how to read this. 89%. The Realm of Farda Kurt. <laughs> God damn. 81%. Fontaine. The Nastoi Region, 100%. Burial, 100%. Belu. 100%. You're supposed to read this with like a French accent. I'm not doing that. The Court of Fontaine, 100%. The Forest, 85%. Liffey, 80%. The Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering Region, 86%. The Forest, 85%. And then Mort, 79%. Boom. Inazuma, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 92%. I cannot find the last things here. I, I know you guys are expecting me to go down here and press 100%. It's not happening. Underground and Cominia. Ah, fucking hell. The underground place in Font uh, in Inazuma. 100%. Chasm. 100%. Not actually. There's like achievements I'm missing to get like Seelies and stuff. But 100% it says. Sea of Bygones. 91%. Simulonka. Uh, this is an event. 100%. I think. Teapot. 100%. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not the guy to, des to like design my teapot. You know, that's not me. I'm not the kind of guy to design my teapot. You know? I mainly do this for friendship. I'll be honest. Friendship and then the the stuff you could get. Coley Friendship 5. Realm Deposit. What can I get? Beautiful. That's really all I do now. I don't really care about the other things. Alright, I guess I'll review the bag real quick. So weapons. I won't review everything in my bag, but I'll just do like Have a light scroll down real quick. You know, there's a lot. Off. I have a lot of a lot of mats. It's a lot worse on my free to play or my no wishing account. It's a lot worse. I hope I'm scrolling slow enough, but not a big deal. I don't eat food, by the way. I, once I have keeping some a lot office, of mats. Yo, gave up on the idea. Leo, man. It's just not uh, right to keep small animals where they won't be able to see the sun. Boom. 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 I mean, just a lot of stuff, really. These ones don't matter as much, but yeah. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay. Floor 12. Reward people. Wrong one. Challenge summary. I've been able to 36 star floor 12 for years now. It's no longer a insanely big deal. Oh my god, 313k damage with child. Like, it's yeah, it's not a big deal no more. I don't find any of them too challenging. The current one is definitely challenging, but it's not to the point where I'm, I'm about hurt. You know, like I cleared it with Razor, it, it's fine. And you could call me DPS, it's fine. Most of them are clear. As you can see, it's a lot of the same characters. Meta just clears. Oh, look at that. Zhao, 150k. Raiden Shogun, 191k. Wow. Joy Mia is my strong, my single strongest strike in this one. With 81,000. Wow, that's insane. I'm not a big fan of this game mode, but it is what it is. Free Primo Gems, I guess. Slightly more than what we were getting for doing two Abyss runs a month. Past performances. So I didn't get all the stars right here. I could easily go back into it. I'm not gonna do it. And then on this one... I got on all the stars. I didn't even use support on this one. I just like messing around really. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy, I guess. It just, it's based on how much time you've been playing the game. Uh, reward preview. As long as these are on my account, I don't care. Oh, I bought Deluxe and Jeans, huh? Well, you know what? I'll get one to level 90 right now. If I can. If I can get Jeans to level 90, I'll get it to level 90. Uh, you know what? I'll get Jeans to level 90. I'll do it just because. Echo challenge reward. What? Boom. All right, that's done. Echo Dandelion. Let's see how this looks. I actually haven't seen any gameplay or nothing. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Even... Okay, so it's not when you're standing still, but when you take the step? What about when I'm gliding? Huh. Not when I'm gliding, huh? Wait, yeah, it is when I'm gliding. I'm an idiot. It's not the same animation, but... That's okay. Even when I'm falling, sprinting... 
That's pretty cool. I mean, I guess I'll see y'all in Nalan, right?